Now, the U.S. National Security Council spokesman has been holding a briefing at the White House. Let's bring in our White House correspondent, Kimberly Halkett, joining us from the White House. So what did he have to say? Yeah, uh, the, the, what the uh, National Security Council uh, spokesperson John Kirby had to say specifically uh, really was a follow-up on that shocking comment that President Joe Biden made in the Rose Garden on Wednesday, where he essentially said that he didn't believe the number of civilian casualties, now more than 7,000, with uh, more than 3,000 children being killed in Israel's war in Gaza, saying that uh, he couldn't trust the, the ver or verify those numbers, to be uh, precise. And uh, the bottom line is, is that there are a number of journalists that not only challenged that, uh, but also called to question the insensitive nature of the president's comments. And so uh, there were repeated questions about that, to which the uh, spokesperson defended repeatedly, saying that the Biden administration will not apologize, the president will not apologize for making those remarks, also saying that the, uh, they believe the numbers are not reliable, and they also, while they believe that there are many, many families that have been affected, they double down on the claim that Hamas is a terror organization, and as a result, they believe that these are false numbers, and so therefore they give them no credibility. Now, uh, with respect to the tragedy that we here at Al Jazeera have been experiencing with the uh, death of the family of our Al Jazeera Arabic uh, bureau chief's family, uh, I asked the uh, spokesperson, John Kirby, specifically about that and whether Al Jazeera journalists are being targeted among the many journalists that the Center or Committee to Protect Journalists says is now more than 24 journalists who have been killed just since October 7th trying to cover this conflict. Uh, the spokesperson said uh, his thoughts and prayers go out to those that are grieving, but he denied that Al Jazeera specifically is being targeted. In fact, uh, he said just the opposite. When I asked him directly if, in fact, Al Jazeera was being targeted, he said that uh, he valued the, the work that we are doing, and he said that uh, he would not in any way uh, underscore reporting here in the United States that uh, says that there have been attempts to silence our network. But that is exactly what has been reported here in the United States, that the Secretary of State, Antony Blinken, uh, reached out to the Qatari government, asking us to tone down our coverage. What I can tell you is that that was flatly denied in the White House briefing room just moments ago by John Kirby. And also, he flatly denied that Al Jazeera is being targeted specifically for its war coverage. Okay, Kimberly, we appreciate that. Thank you so much for that update from the White House.